up the uh, the one instead of the eye. So you uh, you took your advice, Chad. Ready to go toe to toe with Simple on the other side, and we're starting off quite heavily towards B. This is a short aggressive maneuver from Hunter and Monacy for info. Nico towards lower dark, but it's all gonna be on JKS. The one expert odds are favoring Navi. You can understand why. But JKS is about to be run on over. So smoke goes out through the open roof of the tunnels. It's Nico that's gonna flash in JKS. Wraps around, he's got electronic down. He's already found the first shot. Last time I was commentating on JKS, he was fighting against G2 way back in Katowice. Now he's alongside them and alongside them so far, they're doing quite well. They've blocked off three players on the entry, shot back through the smoke. They've got the site surrounded. Okay, Nico's gonna rotate the other direction. But the bomb plant still goes in and we know how difficult the B site is to retake. There are no kits in play. And that is going to be crucial because they've got to go quickly. Good start. Takes out Bit. They know where Perfecto is. They've got a cross on him, but they've got to push in behind the box. Well, he is trying to battle in the one-on-ones and reload costs him his life. It's a great start there. Uh, the, the little aggressive maneuver up short, it meant they could respond to this tunnel position quite quickly. That flash through to help out JKS to at least get one kill. That's the real issue if you're the solo B defender in that situation. If you go down without a single kill, then that retake becomes almost impossible. So job done and great work for G2 to get the pistol round here against that onslaught over towards B. We know it's a job done with a bomb plant though, so you'd expect Navi's gonna force into this. Yeah, well, right now they must be discussing their options here because as you mentioned, there's plenty of cash to work with. You can see some AKs okay. drop, some Galil's come out. Looks like it's just a scout for Simple so far. So they wanna get the AKs out into the next round. It would just be about damage. So two M4s, a scout. And two Famuses is Simple's is oh. ring on out. Of all teams to be uh, conservative with the money, you wouldn't expect that it would be Na'Vi in these situations, but they are. Oh, Hooksy's dead here. You, you say that. You say that. He's looked back. And even Hooksy can kill with a Famas. It was a, a little bit of a late peek there, wasn't it? It looked like he was just beelining towards the doors. And, and that's one of the key fights that we're going to be looking at here this evening is Hooksy towards long and how and when he calls for the team to maybe do the 4A stack to lock down those long rushes because he is the, the A long anchor and it's going to be a difficult spot for him to be able to hunker down on his lonesome. Now up towards short, they trundle. Simple leading the charge with the scout in hand and Nico is the player who'll have to fight here. Silenced M4 at range. Can already see the heads snade, but it's a little deep considering they're already further forward. He got dinked on that as well. He's down to 22. They've got to be a little bit careful, but he's got the headshot angle. Closing the distance. You'll see Bit through the edge of the box. Goes over to the pistol instead. Finds Perfecto and uh, let Monacy close out on SDY. So 2 nothing. but as we know, that was more about damage. As you said, they would have loved to have had a bomb plant on top of that as well, but now we'll get full AKs from Na'Vi. Yeah, I suppose the difference here is no AWP available. If that bomb went down, a real discussion about that could come forward. In fact, they only lose one, they can drop some guns across and everybody's gonna be rocking a rifle on both sides, but we have two emissions. There's uh, two Famuses for Hooksy and JKS and two Galils for SDY and Electronic on the other side here. Get underway with our first gun round. And this is what I'm talking about here, Matt. Look, they're hedging four players towards long to make sure these B rushes can't come through. Simple as he pushes forward, there's so many bodies on the other side. Simple already inside of that smoke. They've extinguished the flames. They're going to be checking it again. Hooksy's aware, but Simple, ooh, even smarter. He goes in, doesn't get the re response he wants, doesn't bait anyone into some aggression, and then he goes right back out. And they'll have heard him retreating. There's nothing they can do about it. So they'll leave Hooksy there to anchor long. They'll rotate back Nico and Monacy. Meanwhile, Perfecto and Bit have gone to middle, and they're going to come right through on this JKS. That crouch position at the fire. Box reverse side. You can see the feet first because of the chip in the bottom of the wall, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't get the shot. It's Nico now that has to try and sit inside the smoke and make up for this deficit. Jumping, spotting. Calls for Hunter, who manages just one. And now Perfecto's got a decision to make. Smokes it off. They've gotten inside of the B site. That was by way of tunnels, but man, Perfecto holding and waiting is flashed and blinded. And it's on a rotation as well. You still have long in the picture because SDY is rotated toward top middle from that direction. He's far from the action, but if he can soften them up, okay, they're being smart about it. They're just gonna bypass him. Forget it. He's out of the round. Let's go for B. Ooh, Nico needs to win this fight here and now. The bomb, not halfway gone yet, but Nico can't connect the dots into SDY. This is a fight that's buying a lot of time. Still the fight coming through tunnels. Nasty Y will prevail. Electronic gets to pivot now, and they should lock this one down. Great little crossfire here from Simple and Electronic to pick up their first, and that was a great response. After Simple made it out to Bluebin, I think they identified how many bodies were towards the A side of things. With all that extra util being thrown in, the fact that they were so reluctant to give up that long control, Navi immediately course-corrected, went straight back to B, dealt with JKS trying to rotate over because Hunter was the lone B defender, and simple stuff here for Navi. So really good work from SDY as well in this fight with Nico. If he doesn't win that fight against Nico, the B-Tunnel players from G2 can slow down. They can work as a team and likely retake that scenario. 
It's going to be a force out here. Hodgepodge by investing into the best they can. Another four start towards long. You can see they really don't want to be giving up long to Na'Vi within the early stages. So this time round, the pressure player will be JKS. Hunter will have to float back towards the mid to late, and here he comes. JKS nade going inside of the tunnels. Good timing on that one, but it's unfortunately just bit that takes a bit of damage from it. Bounced it as well and then slid behind the smoke. They're not going to expect him to be this close because the trajectory oh. suggests other, and he's got utility working in his favor simply based on cues. JKS will find three, and SDY and Electronic left to scramble to pick up the pieces on this one, and part of that piece is the fact that the bomb has gone inside of the B site. Well, this isn't being considered right now. If Electronic jumps down or even wraps the entire way, SDY trying to grab the bomb here. This is quite the challenge, and Nico will find that through the smoke. So Electronic drops down. Now they might be considering this type of a flank. Monacy still looking towards the mid door, so Electronic should have this one and does. There's still three more to find. This is a tough one to win. He spotted the second one at the window. He definitely saw the player jumping towards scaffolding, so he's expecting to get into another engagement, but he knows there's a chance they can peek him from elsewhere. I think the best thing he can do with that knowledge is just get away from this. I think SDY might have been better to wait a minute as well. The fact that he put himself in the tunnels and they spray into the smoke, they know that that smoke suggests he wants the ball, but he does get Nico with his knowledge. Unfortunately, JKS will take back electronic. And Chad, I said knowledge so that you wouldn't be aware. Oh, okay. So are you with the Twitch chat? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're very aware. So that Chad. I learned that that's a uh, better TV emote. And we don't have better TV installed on the PC, so we'll have to get it fixed, because I don't even know what the emote looks like. I just saw it standing aware. I, was I like, just thought they were they talking really about? about things. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's an emote, but uh, JKS, that's a, a massive hold, right? We just discussed the fact that when they're doing these four-man A-leans, he's on his own. It was Hunter earlier. This time around, it was JKS. Big delivery there, and that might alleviate a bit of pressure from those B-pops. Back down to just a couple of pistols, three deagles, and a scout for Na'Vi here. Damage being the name of the game again. Perfecto already down at the bottom of the tunnels. Smoke in his way. I would have said in his favor. It's not the pin smoke, so it's just going to be spam. And spam that goes against him, he gets tagged down to 58 HP. I was just reflecting on some of the group stage results, and I know that we're so disconnected from the group stage to where we are now in the playoffs. It feels like eons ago. But Na'Vi lost to Endpoint on this map. Yeah, that's not a bad... Yeah. That's not a bad <laughs> thing if you're G2. That's not a great thing if you're Na'Vi. Yeah, there's Na'Vi's map choice. So uh, I'm curious to see what they've been working on, and Nico, he's sharp as ever, bit goes down. There's some big question marks here for both of these teams coming into this. The one is, can G2 continue that form from the group stage, and the other is Na'Vi, can we see them hit the playoff stage form that we know this team is capable of? Understandable that there are worries for both sides, and the winner of this will take on Vitality, who just beat Outsiders 2-0. That was our second 2-0 in the playoffs so far. The other was Mouse versus Liquid. Yeah, Every other right. game's been 2-1, which and, is great. It's weird, because I thought Mouse versus Liquid was going to be the hardest one to predict of, of all of them. I remember saying that with Hooksy on the desk as we made him make a prediction. Speaking of Hooksy, he'll start with one, but Electronic, oh my goodness, good shot back on the Deagle. But Nico gets Perfecto in response. Monesty going to still hold toward the car as a scout, but Simple showed him how to use it first. Hunter will peek back out, and now Monesty steps in. Doesn't matter. Hunter has that shot. 4-1 for G2. Okay, steady start here. Haven't really given up too much G2 in these lighter by rounds, and you'd be happy with that if you're the coach X-Taz here. You haven't had any flubbed rounds, any rounds that you, you should have been converting go against you, and you haven't really sustained too much crazy damage. But Na'Vi on the other side, this will be a chance to get a full gun round going with Simple's AWP in play, AKs for everybody else, and full util. So... Expect them to start finding a bit more traction here. Bit's actually been given the AWP to take the initial peak, so he'll be spotting for lower dark. He's the head, and speaking of lower dark, that's something that G2 like to frequent. They'll always throw this smoke, this one right here, and limp forward into lower, at least apply some presence. That'll force Na'Vi to slow their default crawl down and have to acknowledge that position. But this is a very, very slow spread here from Na'Vi. There's no tunnels presence. They're only listening for long. They have no mid control. They're still back a cat. They're happy to take their time. I'm just sitting on the deck waiting to be delivered in whichever direction they go. They'll grab that now. Simple to hold on to it. Sword middle as well. This is curious. So they just had a setup towards long with multiple members, and they're all repositioning. It's clearly called on by Hooksy, right? He's at the front of this pack here, juggling some util across. I think they want to flash him forward for info at least. Yeah, if he's dropping all of this back, it's, hey, listen, send me in. I'll be the canary in the coal mine. I'll find out what's going on on the other side. 
Jcast and Hunter are starting to collapse down towards middle as well. This might be a crunch towards short and mid from G2. Electronic trying to get that smoke in the position. Potentially could go for another drop down strategy, another play, but they're gonna take this back. Look at this positioning. All three of them. Looks he doesn't want to give them an inch. Smother the catwalk, boys, and he's already started it off. He gets to the system. Both kills Nico and Monacy collecting, but it's bit and simple that have come right back on that. And inside of the smoke, Nico's gonna have to be extremely careful in his position because that's dissipating. Simple gets the shot with the EWP, having just thrown a Molotov down to spawn. Now that Molotov does have a bit it of a could gap. Be good. But that could be good. Nade, you're right, is gonna deny the bomb plant with 16 seconds. Sesti, why heck of a shot because they have to get back toward the site. And JKS knows, so he's gonna try to put himself underneath an elevator, swing quickly take the shadow it's a one-on-one -on -one, but not a one-on-one -on, -one on one because simple steps back out before planning and takes him down massive round from simple gets the all power and the impact is felt immediately so great stuff here from navi that's a huge round to win and one that puts cash in question for g2 and that was a set maneuver that is something that g2 are practice here i talked about the clamp down that was pre-rehearsed that was well orchestrated all that util the short retake they're waiting for the cue from navi and navi still prevail in this situation the nade was great but simple is just better and now G2 are gonna force back in. So this is the worst looking buy they've had, but they're crunching into tunnels here very aggressively. Perfecto will be hearing this. It's Hooksy, the lone defender on A right now. Perfecto can call. He's heard a couple of steps at least. At least two players noted. And they can take all this long control. So this is classic Na'Vi now. Yeah, Hooksy's back way off of this as well, though, because he knows he's alone and he knows this, this is gonna be a tough one for him to hold. Tries to shoulder peek it out. Simple, not able to get the shot off with the big green or faded yellow and purple in his case. They go for the elevator boost though, so they are still gonna get Hooksy up and on top of the site. Gives him a better position to try and defend this from, excuse me. They don't have any flashes though. They're not gonna be able to be jarring through the smoke here. They're just gonna have to hope they can find the fights. Bit slow, Perfecto 2. Electronic chipped on down now and finally crossing over towards the site with the bomb. Lots of smoke shrouding cover for everybody here. JKS was trying to get in position with Hooksy Bit. Above the box, we'll spot Hooksy's head. It's JKS that now is trying to elevate his position as well over toward the sandbags, but it's JKS, the only one suddenly left on top of the site. Monacy is removed, and I think the round is too, so this will be four to three as Navi are gonna plant the bomb and pick up a bunch of utility if they'd like. They got an AK there to switch over to. Smoke was on the ground as well, so that's gonna be useful to try and use if they try and smother that bomb against Monacy, but I don't even think, yeah. This is, I think this was the predicted outcome. Yeah, see if he can find anything on the way out the door here, but that's uh, Na'Vi now attempting to tie things back up. Four to three, the score will read, and four, four very likely, because G2 will have to relinquish control of these buys. Likely to see them go into a, a very soft eco into the next. And that's where patience is a virtue right there, because you saw all the smokes get thrown down on site to make things very jarring, hoping that Na'Vi will get too many steps ahead, run through, not consider the jump up, not consider the one ways. They're even spamming JKS there and likely heard him get tagged. So good attempt from G2 to stall this cross out, but just not enough resources and Na'Vi handle business. Now the cash, 1900 for Nico, same for Hunter, Hooksy's at 2K, JKS at 2.6. Honestly, with a saved MP9, we all know what that means. Nico coming forward. Lucky we haven't seen too many crazy saves like the uh, Outsiders Vitality matchup that just went down. That first half was actually, both halves were absolutely insane as far as saves concerned. Yeah, Financial School caught them well, didn't it? Oh, simple. He's going to run forward. They've actually gotten through that smoke. They're all through it, with the exception of the only man who didn't dare. It's way back over toward the A site, Nico. It's crazy, like, this default that's being run right now. This is so old school. This is something that... I would have been running back in 1.6 with how far back SDY is in the backyard of B. One player over towards green box that's no longer green. A player back a palm tree. Electronic's already out long though, so he's taken a step forward while everybody else is just chilling. They're rotating all the way back now. They're through T-spawn with bit, SDY, Perfecto, and simple to lob something out towards Xbox. They're going to try and clear out the upper tunnels. Now, Hunter's here with just a USP, but it's Monacy, the one who could cause a few issues, but he'd need a strike and mow down a few. This is not going to be easy. SDY. Swings. Makes no mistake. Takes out Hunter. Monacy. Oh. He's got two with the MP9. He's not done there. He's going to upgrade onto a Galil. They tried to put flames on those guns, but he beat them to it. 
And Hooksy's gonna come join him in holding the tunnels. This is good though. JKS has pushed top mid right now. Even if Okay, what is that? Nico's just taking down Electronic. This is a 2-1-4, and JKS is gonna hear the rotation. They might not clear this out. He's hearing them suicide right now. Monacy can take a couple more kills here. It steps up, spots them. Damage being done, stalling them out with 30 seconds left. Perfecto draws blood, but is it enough? Oh, it might be if that USP hits a headshot. It does. Perfecto goes down to 17, two on two, but Hooksy's managed to go forward and get an AK. Avoids the flash. They would have heard him on that, though. Simple. He knows he's in spawn. It doesn't matter because Hooksy's got the one in his name today, and he steps up to take down Simple five to three. Okay, well, handling that one. That is uh, a, a full eco with a saved MP9. I said, honestly, it was going to be hard to get a couple of kills. He dinked the second player and then comes back for the repeak with the MP9. That is massive. And then fortunately, Nico takes down Electronic, snoozing from the top of sight. That was a wild kill. JK doesn't get anything done, but he hears all the sound cues that can set them up ready for the pivot of Perfecto and Simple here. Great little round from G2. And these are the type of rounds that Simple in the interview with Freya was talking about not losing, making sure that they're giving their 100% if they do go down. And that one is going to stick with them here. As two scouts come out. A Glock, a P250, and a Deagle, but it's feeling a bit flat from Na'Vi. They can't yeah. really force the issue in this round. No, their economy's down bad after the clutch from the Giga Chad, so they're going to have to sit back on this one. Two scouts, though, certainly can be menacing. They can soften them up, and you've got the P250 and the Deagle. With Molotov, that'll push them back further. It's a really good sign for G2 that Nico's online already, right? 11 kills to his name. It wait till Hunter starts to whir into action here. Monacy as well. This is an AWP's paradise. And then on the other side, well, it's still very early days. But we saw what Simple can do when he gets the AWP out. Slides by SDY, just hooks and gets behind the door. Nico. On the edge of the box is careful because that's a headshot position. Luckily, Monacy comes around. That's the headshot right there. Simple nails it. But luckily, Monacy has come around toward the car. He's going to try and play himself into his own smoke here and control the peak so he's not caught off too aggressively. Flash just going to put him further back, though. So a bomb plant's very possible on this, but Simple's the one holding it, and he's not advanced past the catwalk position right now. Oops. Okay. Well, they weren't considering that. Electronic might get two, but two's all he's going to get here is Hunter will deliver the final blow. So considering that was very light on the investment side, that's a good round for Na'Vi. Lots of damage done. They're making sure that the cash isn't getting out of control on the G2 side. They're going to have to have some discussions about who's dropping who and where will the weapons end up. But six to three, a three round margin here. Nice little toss of the nade there from Hunter to eviscerate Simple. Now Simple can get the AWP back out here. Late to buy from Spawn, Electronic and uh, Simple, but they will get the purchases through in time. Well, not able to spot it as he went down to suicide. Honestly, though, aggressive to catwalk. We haven't seen this look from the op yet. Remember, though, he's vulnerable, pushed out that far to exactly that angle. So he knew the timing. He got out of it, didn't want to overstep the mark. And as a result, they'll actually boost him. So checks it, didn't see it. It doesn't work in his favor because Bit is there. But they will not find that out. Right now, though, with those Molotovs being thrown. So they'll counter that off really want this real estate. It feels like they want to fight towards mid, but they don't help the, they don't have the help, sorry, of the B defenders at all. Hunter and JKS are locked in towards the B site completely. So Monacy on his lonesome and Electronic just walks around the corner. No flash, no boost, nothing crazy. And now JKS, we've seen what he can do in this position once. He's only going to get one this time round. Hunter will find the follow-up. <sighs> Simple. Despite being shot at and having everything go against him, he manages to splinter out the doorway to find Nico. Hooksy again toward long, changing his angle above on the pit position, uses the telephone pole and takes down SDY. So it will leave simple with 23 HP to try and go after him. And it's going to be a difficult task considering he just spotted him and he's already running away. So 36 seconds. I don't know if simple even wants to give up the AWP at this point. Now, I think both teams will be more than comfortable just allowing everybody to survive here. Simple wants to carry this alt forward hunter. It's actually taken an aggressive stance up middle here. Now, Simple's already been able to slink back over towards the B backyard side. They might not be considering the save over towards this quadrant of the map, but uh, the well handled round from G2. Hunter is coming, slow and steady. And that's enough. All right, fair enough. Can't argue with that. I, I have a, I have a quick like theory about, well, I need to pay a bit more attention to the spawns. So we haven't really seen Navi return to the all in longs. 
They've been getting space when we saw that eco round with the saved MP9, sure, but that was a whole different kettle of fish. In terms of the gun rounds, they've been warded off. So by G2 playing the couple of four-man heavy stacks early, it's worked the way they want to, and now Navi are literally just playing a default spread every round. And even when they went for that short control at about the 40-second mark, G2 had a counter. I know they lost that round, but G2 are looking very well prepared right now for what Navi are going to be throwing their way. Why? Smoke down at the long cave. Kind of walk through this. Oh my. Toss air placement, Hooksy. Could have been caught off by that. Bit slow to react, doesn't get any damage into him. Very slow to react, really. He thought he would have just started spamming away immediately, but... Uh, uh, Hooksy's mind is, is filled with so many thoughts, he had to discern which was the correct one. And he didn't take any damage, so I guess he, he knew that the crosshair placement really wasn't that good. Now, this is the next drama. Simple has to search with the AWP. The nade landing at the feet, but not doing any damage. A little bit shallow on that. And if JKS oversteps the mark, he will go down. But the flash is good. Simple still hits the shot. JKS on the tray, but how much more can he do? Just okay. pepper away from the back of Platt. He can do a lot, apparently. Just taps the heads. No problem at all. It's all on the SDY. He manages to at least get a secondary shot with an AWP that was formerly wielded by Simple. We'll see if he can get another because he's blinded on fires into it just for hope at that point in time. But hope dies last, as just SD SDY, so it's going to be 8 to 3. Now, this is one of those weird scenarios with Na'Vi where, you know, we talk about them being able to grind you down and start to whirl themselves back into games here. There's still plenty of time to make this an 8-7 half. The flash just a little bit shy there, just slightly behind. Simple still gets that opener, but then easy stuff against the pistols there for JKS. Oh, Simple now only has a Deagle. That uh, is going to manifest because he saved that AWP, so loss bonus not helping him out here. And now Hunter parks himself in lower dark. Nade as well, to, from far range, potentially suggesting he's not there. Got two more. How does... Yeah, what is that? It's the... the did he turn into a jester? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Poor Hunter. Wishes he had another. Oh, he does. Look at that. You're right. He still had the other one. Bang! Oh, that one was good, too. It just headbutted that one Zidane style. That's one of the keys, I guess, of being the A rotator now. You get all the nades dropped in spawn. Everyone else will take the flashes. You get the HEs. You get to inflict all that damage, but they are still down a man. I mean, Simple does get a gun out of things. Molly bounces through. Nico tagged by it, backs away from the doorway. Still, though, the advantage. This one is a flash, not a nade, just to be clear. Looks he's alone on A right now. So if they try and split B or, or just head B at all, they're going to be going into the stack, the lion's share of the G2 remaining members here. Honestly, still trying to come back toward middle. Some die young, bouncing smoke. Oof. Before all of that goes off, though, it's Electronic that takes the fight. Nico behind door. Does his best to shut him down, and he'll back off to set a crossfire with Justin. But it's not going to be commitment yet from Na'Vi. In fact, they rotate over from the tunnels. They'll put the Xbox smoke up and head over to the PlayStation on Catwalk as Nico waits back towards CT. Looks for the headshot. Can't get it. Falls off. And they're not going to repeat this. They want to hold the wall and wrap around. It's Perfecto that somehow gets it well blind. Okay. Well, this isn't Nintendo because it's not on like Donkey Kong. That was quite easy. They just stroll on in. A couple of easy kills right there, out of position and well handled. Now JKS, he might not even be able to hold on to this M4. Simple is close. JKS makes a step, Simple will strike. That was a nice round from Na'Vi. They grab that opening kill. You can see that the AWP being demonstrated just at his toes. I'm sure both of these players would love to pick... Oh, he's seen the beat. Don't worry about that. Simple showing you all the tricks in the book. JKS thinking he was safe. Can't slide under that van. Okay, well... Back into a bit of a financial disarray here for G2. Monacy has 6.5k. He can buy an AWP. Hooksy has 4.1. And this was it. The opening kill that really caused all the dramas. Nico kept lobbing these nades. Sure, they did a lot of damage, but no kills. And this was it. Perfecto stepping out. Winning that fight. Securing the site. Easy as you like. All right. So that does get them now back to... Fourth round, half that of their opponent. Taking a timeout here, Na'Vi. I thought that would have been a G2 timeout, so let's just give it an extra 30 seconds for Xtas to chime in where the financial situation is, because if they wanted to go for a buy, they could. They, they, they could take a save, they'll be able to buy next round where everybody's cash is currently at, but 
Ah, there it is. The Orc comes out for Monacy during all of this. So if that's literally the only purchase here and a couple of light upgrades around. Monacy have to do all the work. They're going to have to boost him up. They're going to have to send him somewhere aggressive. This is where your Orpa, especially someone as creative as Monacy, needs to have something that he's, he enjoys, a preferential pick that he finds a lot of success with to get you an opener. <sighs> Simple side, but couldn't find the shot. They get in toward Lower Dark. Nico, actually, take that back. He went up above the box. They have the double smoke in position, but he's... Monacy, going to get taken down. That's your AWP already. Gone and out of this one, and it is Catwalk. I had a feeling because we saw him go there previously, and inside of the smoke, Nico's going to fall as well. Kind of felt like Nico worked against him there. I don't know if he was meant to be bait for Monacy. Shows himself, then drops back down, but they were ready for Monacy to swing I, I, out. Yeah, but I feel like exactly. Go low. Go up the ramp so the crosshair is further away from Monacy, if anything. Yeah, it drew him to his demise right there. So that's an unfortunate investment that could really spell disaster for G2 in the remainder of this half. The rest of them are just going to walk into their demise. JKS rounds the corner, gets a dink shaw, but he's dead, and now it's just Hunter. They'll mop him up momentarily, hiding behind the box, but Electronics crosshair placement, and even his hops are showing he knows exactly where he is. Beautiful stuff. And a clean one now for Na'Vi. Yeah, Monty got owned there. That was... Uh... Absolute destruction on a heavy investment that he will need to get dropped back over to get into things. Fortunately for him, Hooksy's a friendly in-game leader. He can operate with any weapon, old Hooksy. He's going to step on down to the MP9. Simple looking for the shot again from the... Suicide position, it's certainly not as prominent as it was before when you could do it from spawn, but it's crazy how many oppers still want that shot and Simple seems to go for it every, every single round. It's just so much info to gather from there as well, right? If you don't take that fight and CTs always take lower dark, yep. I know that they can still throw that smoke, but it's just too much freedom to give them. And if you have good orpers, like Monacy, like Simple in the server, that's the type of fight that you're going to feel confident on for the tag. Now, this information play upper dark is in response to them losing long. They can confirm the upper is clear for now. There is utility being dotted up towards A, and that'll put the rest of G2 on high alert. Slinking behind a SDY bit and electronic now as they're tossing that bomb forward. Here comes the second wave of utility. Hooksy with the MP9 trying to use that smoke to his advantage. Get back closer to the site. Nico's going to go first. Oh, but they're all blind. I don't think he was spotted, though. I don't even think Simple saw him from far away. He did see Hooksy, though. Took him down already. Nico still waiting. He's going to catch the ball. Oh, man. On top of that, he'll get bit. They've got everyone now, and it's sacrificial that Hooksy went down, but they figured it all out afterward. Perfecto is left with a lineup, but not a chance in heck for it as JKS shuts it out 9-5. to five. Okay. Well, it looks like they're going to bring in double orbs. JKS can do some secondary orping over towards this B-bomb site, or maybe Nico's feeling that he wants to bring that out. So we'll have to see which one dons it here. But this is a chance for a 10-5 half now. And this was a great response. They get the info up at dark, and they even gamble. They go, look, we're, we're going to assume that there's nobody outside of B. We're going to go completely over towards this A site. G2 took some risks, and it paid off in that scenario. But everybody, with all the goodies for the final round of play, round 15. And that secondary or will be with JKS over towards B. So long, cottoned off for now. Electronic a bit straight out the mid door. This is quick. I want Twitch to just have a global giga chat emote that is Hooksy's face at this point. Hunter gonna take down Electronic to start it off. Bit's gonna spray back in though and find him. As they come to the site though, JKS, what an unorthodox position to secondary off from. Tries to go close to the tunnel. Hooksy's caught out by SDY. Luckily they traded JKS because now they have the site to work with just Nico and Monacy to try and pull this one back. Bomb is in the site and will be planted. SDY doesn't actually have to commit to the tunnels here. He just has to watch it and call the cross. They still haven't planted. Simple waiting for SDY to get a little bit closer before he removes himself from the play with the plant. But Monacy is even going to consider this position. He's glancing. He's looking and he's even hit the shot. That's a headshot onto SDY. Bomb only just went down now as well, which means lots of time to get in toward that site. Go back, pick up a bit of utility. Monacy's got a decoy grenade, of all things. And... A Molotov to try and get inside of the site with. He jumps, looking for the looks, looking for anything to bait out the shot, but the shot that comes is successful as Simple finds it. And it's all on to Nico. Nico with the timing, the pre-fire to get away, to blind up the flash, maybe bait him into looking at it. It's not going to work. Perfecto's going to find the shot. Nine, six and a half. A good start, but even better from G2 is they'll take the lead over to the T side. We'll find out what happens then after this break.
Interesting to see SDY being the one to look at the notes between the half as he's the newest player, but interesting as well to see this in Serbia, a watch party, which is obviously for Hooksy. Yeah, everybody turning out for Hooksy today in Serbia. I knew they were massive fans over there. That's insane. It looks like a cinema full of Counter-Strike fans right now. Checking this one out. G2 taking on Na'Vi. Let everyone know it's wet and windy outside, but it's still pretty calm in the server. Not a pedestrian half, but a standard half. And now we get underway with Na'Vi on the defense of their map choice. See if they can pick up the pistol and split the difference. Aggressive towards short from simple here. 1x bet odds. Inseparable, really. Just leaning towards Na'Vi. Very, very slightly indeed as Nico. I get a chance against simple. Who's decided better of hanging around? Backing off now is the other four. Tucked in towards long. Even someone playing anti-flash. That's what you like to see. Now, they only have a flash. Uh, the initiation here is going to be quite difficult. I think it's allow Nico quite literally go kill, find us some space, draw some bodies, and we'll take the room. Because they're not moving until Nico initiates something. On the door, Nico gives a quick turn and check. Keeps moving forward with that P250 clear out spawn as well. Our position for SDY, as we saw him reading the notes, reviewing the tape. See what he can come up with from that position. G2 obviously won the first pistol. See if they can better themselves here and went out two. Slash goes deep. SDY doesn't want to peek on that yet, though. He didn't think they were far enough forward. There was not enough scurrying after the fact, so they still had the corner for cover. Oh. Now, they're going to be in the open. Simple has the lineup down the wall. He's not down there either. Remember, he's still got electronic that can counter peek off the back of it. Nico, meanwhile, is trying to make things awkward. At middle, Monacy has SDY down, and they get closer, closer to Simple. Oh. Who's going to shut them all out? And it's all on the hooksy. Bits got him, and it's 9-7. to seven. Well, Simple not afraid to just stand and take those fights, right? They, they were hoping the players would take those fights so the little Glocks could just pepper them down at range, right? They didn't have utility to push them back, I'm just allowing him to take those fights. So I'm sure Simple can't believe his luck just getting to duel exactly like this. Some tidy ones here on the USP, just sit and play it down. After play up, great stuff. And even Bit with a sharp one here over towards Car, just lopping off Hooksy's head. So it looks like G2 are going to be taking Nico here, get the AKs out into the next. It's just going to be Nico with a Deagle. And they're going to quickly trundle out long. So SDY on the corner. Oh, catches an awful lot of information there. And they're just going to keep running on down. Surely they're going to get mowed over towards the car position. Dink at range, but oh, these MP9s, they're not going to have any issues with this. Not at all, apparently. Bomb's still on the deck. Nico, good shot. We know he's very efficient with a deagle. I think that's something that no one would dispute. 
Certainly not in this round, as he's got the kill against SDY. He would be not having any say in that. I'm still slightly astonished by the amount of people at that viewing party. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, look, Serbia has been a big part of Counter-Strike, not only with Hunter and Nico, but during the pandemic as well. A lot of teams house themselves there for uh, the sake of, you know, locking down somewhere in Europe that they could play with an appropriate ping. We know a lot of, a lot of the North American teams, well, I say a lot of North American teams, the ones that survived um, were there. There's three of them time. now. Yeah, there's three. <laughs> well, no, there's there's three organizations, but nine teams. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. You know, EG has everyone. The academy rosters upon the academy rosters. Yeah. The Penthouse Penthouse. It's a workaholics reference that no one ever seems to get, but it's uh, okay. I try not to work. Well, fair play. I'm honest, he's all pissed out early here. Now, to get the big green, he's had to sacrifice everything else. He had 4750. That's quite literally the only thing he could purchase in a round like this. JKS and SDY will be having a standoff towards long throughout this game. Both tasked with anchoring it down on either side. Nico already has space towards the mid doors. And a flash forward. Weeps him out and Electronic has made noise. Stepping off the box. Calls for assistance of Simple as they want to fight this. A flash forward. They will start to take the duel. And Nico, he's better in this situation. That's an opening kill and a tidy one, but they need to be able to capitalize off this. See if Hooksy can do something with it, waiting on Catwalk for any information or that utility from his teammate to flash himself around the corner. Smoke on the box at Cat, so he knows that they're playing defensively on it. This might be something oh. they can use. Bit. Good shot. Down goes Vonessy. Oh, that's one way to draw a kill back. I think Nico might want to find himself that AWP here because operating with the AK on low HP, Bogdan's Law doesn't need to prevail. It looks like they want to try and mid to be split here, which would be the perfect call right now from Hooksy. Everybody from Na'Vi has gambled towards the A site. It's an educated guess and likely to see them just save here if it is the B split. Perfecto might be able to do damage if there is no CT spawn smoke, but now they're deployed. Nay, nope, didn't like to throw. It might have been better off doing so because he could have caught them on the way by. Now it's all to the guns and to Nico's AWP scoped toward the top of middle. It'll be SDY that gets taken out of the picture, but they didn't account for Simple to rotate behind him. Bomb, has been Bomb goes down. Perfecto. Simple bit against Hunter, Hooksy, and JKS. And Hunter's going to go aggressive to try and cut them off inside the tunnels. No one's going this way. So this is going to be a flank. It's this is going to be a pinch. Simple needs to be fully cognizant of this because here he comes and now they've got to hurry into the site because behind it oh, hey. it's shut down and hooks he's horny he's got two from the kip excuse me the closet and it's going to be 10 to 8. i who i think they call him in china i who all I -hoo. right yeah, yeah. so uh we went there from hooksy now that is uh, actually quite a massive round to win i didn't think navi were going to go for that i i thought once they had lost control of the b side they weren't going to consider it but the response time they pushed out the long doors they quickly wrapped over and made sure that nico couldn't get away he'd had some good traction there hooksy with a double up on the galil but they will buy back in four m fours five seven and the buy on the other side well no awp back from honesty here that one is lost into the void and i think again yes. bit versus monesty the academy kids a bit sharper right now is they're going to run in towards a simple can the gallery. Can finish him off because oh. of it it will simple's going to get monesty so that dink came to fruition more success with that dink than mine's ever had simple comes around the smoke tries to find if anyone has continued up catwalk but they won't Good molly. That's going to flush Electronic out. Nico's not going to be able to hit this kill easily. And he's going to actually wall through his own flames. That is a bit desperate there. He is having a good game. 19 kills. 19's got 19 for Simple on the other side as well here. But uh, that one is just giving up another number. And Electronic gets a gun out of this. So problems now for G2. They lose this round. They're out of money. I'm not sure how they're meant to buy their way back into this. Hooksy downed. Perfecto finds him trying to lurk inside of the site all by his lonesome bomb. Is still in the hands of Hunter. Five versus two. No money really left over for G2. So if they can get a bomb plant on this, then maybe, maybe they've got something in it. But that's a lot to ask when you have simple to walk out from Goose. He spots in this, then SDY can close out the round taking out Hunter. And now we're just one apart, 10 to 9. Yeah, it might have to be the save here from G2. 2,400 loss bonus into the next. They will be able to buy. Monesty should be able to get an AWP. A, a plant here would be fantastic. Just taking a look at the spawns as well. That's the dink that was caught for Monesty. Straight down to 11. Same place as he lost the AWP. So 
Bits more than comfortable taking that duel, and it even led to the opening, as you highlighted. But this is looking pretty comfortable right now for Na'Vi. I know they're still down around, but that won't last for too much longer here. And watch Simple starting to surge here aggressively up mid. He knows that they're likely on Eco. Has the Galil. And he's just wanting to take a couple of these fights. He's already used five bullets, but still 30 left over before the reload needs to come through. And that's all he was looking for. Bit of information, apparently. It's very quiet in the server. It is actually, yeah. It's kind of one of these like stalemates off the start of each round. And then some have been pretty high octane, but it, it also just seems like a lot of back and forth. And then I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of pauses in in all of this here. And then they're just constantly walking around. There's not a whole lot of running. It's not crazy nades or spam or anything nuts right now. So we are going to get to the breaking point soon where things will have to heat up. We have Inferno next to Mirage as the third if we do require it. And once more, the winner of this will take on Vitality in the semi-final. And Zywoo's looking like he's found some form here. So excited yeah. to have either Nico versus Zywoo or Simple versus Zywoo. It's always a delectable treat. I, I would even say Monacy versus Zywoo. Because that's one that hasn't really heated up. Where there was a lot of talk about is, you know, is Monacy potentially better than Simple? Is he going to outscale him? And obviously Katowice, they had that showdown. But, yeah, it'd be nice to have Zaiwu back in a contention for that one on the AWP as well. I think uh, Monacy still has time to warm into this game here. He has 13 kills so far, but if we get an AWP out sooner or later on this T side, and he can provide some entries. Now, they are starting to split, B. Watch this mode down here, bit from the calm position. Gets the first two, make it three. Perfecto. Goes with the hooksy push, and that is it. Just one kill. Or a bit. He would have been alive and all of that, but he ran out of ammo, so they'll have to let him go. But four staying alive, no problem at all. Tie game. So a 9-6 half is now 10 to 10, and Na'Vi looking pretty comfortable in doing so. They've started to build up a bit of a bank after the last round as well. They will leave bit onto a Galil this time, interestingly enough, despite uh, having the M4 in the last round, because he went down. They just want to get utility and build that cash as best as possible. So Monacy dropping, trying and nailing, but not killing. Perfecto, he clipped him in the shin. Shot out a long hook. What? He needs to decide to go back or forward. He's going to fall away from that, but got a good amount of damage and still no kills. He has to know some of those bullets hit. Simple on three, SDY on 44, Perfecto tagged through the door to 42. Monacy doing his classic little gimmick there with the decoy as well. The shot pops off, they cross, thinking he's taking a pot shot and find some traction, but this should be a round that they can win here. I know that Simple has the AWP. It's the perfect weapon for the job, but two players you can just bowl over. Bullets to the belly should be enough as an exchange of util here towards short. Simple will... Likely negate Nico's push with that smoke. That is uh, the rock to Nico's scissors. Stalling this one out. Again, they're just playing through the default. Standard util usage, trying to ward each other, trying to corral each other into different quadrants of the map here. Nothing going on towards long too crazy since that hooksy exchange. They've conceded full control of this, but G2 do not know. Looks like they're starting to set up and we're into action here for an short execute. And Navi are actually gravitating closer to mid doors here, trying to get some real estate or find a fight. Smokes bouncing and ready. Gonna put one on the ledge and one, okay. Just over it to obscure the box position. No one gonna drop down on that SDY fully concealed. Won't be able to see anyone go by. In fact, though, still gets the opener for Navi though. Remember how low they are from those early exchanges. Hunter's waiting. He knows that there's going to be a rotation in this direction. But he has to time this. It's going to be incendiary, no flash. That'll buy space, but... Simple's holding with the AWP on the ledge if he goes too aggressively with the peak. In fact, they're going to flash him in now. Hunter won't even see that coming. Perfectly thrown, but JKS is there, and they spray in. It's still a two for two, and that may not be good enough. Oh, but now it is Nico. Excuse me, Hooksy and JKS rather go bound to simple as Monacy on the ramp has headshot position, can control his peak, trying to find it with the AWP. It's not going to happen yet, and they're already on the defuse with simple holding. Three HP the whole round and three kills to go up now 11 to 10. That's ridiculous. Simple's in some great form here, and, and I'm questioning if the retakes are going to happen. They're stalled out, they're waiting it short, there's no action, they're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Bomb's almost halfway tick during all of this. Hunter gets blind, JKS gets two. This one here from Hooksy. He did so much damage at the start of the round, but fluffs his lines there. And this plant, it's not for Monacy. He can't react in time. That is a fumble from G2 and a massive retake from Na'Vi here. Could be map defining. The first time out from G2 called. You see JKS, his posture says he's probably not too happy with how that one unfolded. 
with the plant. There's enough money for a partial investment. Definitely no full buy available here and likely want to make sure they get out the AWPs and all the AKs. But that means they're having to have a gimmick of some variety. Looking at the spawns, JKS and Nico have decent spawns for, towards long. The rest of the pack a bit more disconnected towards B. That was a great chance. Like, Hooksy, when he goes back and watches the demo, sees how much damage he did towards those long players. He's not going to believe his eyes. Simple again, trying to find the shot. Monacy has dropped down. Nothing crazy this time. Simple. Sometimes a victim of his own speed, I think. Goes into that. They're walking toward him. They don't have guns other than the Tech Nines. He could have waited for more of a target to shoot at than just the bold, shining beacon of light that is the head. But Electronics got lots to shoot at. He's made no mistake on any of those to get Hooksy, Hunter, and Monacy down. SDY takes out JKS and just tapping away knocks Nico to 23. You can try and run the other direction with that bomb all he wants. Unless he hits a crazy deagle shot. There's no chance he's getting to be past bit. Okay. This is good now from Nafi. All five staying alive. Lots of residual cash left over. And there's uh, the fans here on site. Yeah, the Navi support has actually been noticed. There's, there's quite a few Ukrainians around. There was, what, five, six flags out there in their last game, which obviously we hope this game is far more smooth than the last game we had for them because that one obviously was plagued with, with the Steam issue. Yeah, hopefully that uh, site that Valve can touch and try and fix here. Wow, it's pinned now. I want to see. How are you gonna get away from this one? Jumping across, simple spotted you. And, oh, another chance of the same fight. Doesn't hit the shot, but JKS does. Monacy will get the two yeah, openers. That, that's, that, that, unfortunately, as soon as Simple missed the first one, Electronic was there to try and pick up, but he has, essentially gets baited out of it. And then Simple thinks there's a chance to trade. It gives them both up. So that setup, they actually fell victim to just simple, simply missing the opening. That's not bad for Mr. Savage. Look at Sharp here. He's contributing today. 19 kills next to his name. Second highest fragger in Aside for G2 versus well, with Nico, who's on 20. Simple on 23 on the other side. Another bomb will be going down. Now, I mentioned there's plenty of cash. So, does the fact on Bit want to try and find some damage, or just want to hold on to the guns, give us a bit of an outsider's vitality cosplay? Looks like the save on the agenda here. It's crazy that Simple had the, that same fight two rounds in a row and neither time hit the shot. He's going for the fastest shot possible. And unfortunately, he, like, Electronic is relying on him to at least hit one of those because... If he hits it, the secondary player freezes up to try and hold it if there's two, and there was in that case. And then Electronic can capitalize by getting really, really map control toward long when they split off. But then he's out there all on his lonesome. Simple tries to compensate and still couldn't hit. So yeah, he, it's... I get it. This time they had weapons. Maybe he thinks he has to shoot fast still, but maybe p be a little more patient with that one. Or back up a little bit and make the angle a little more open. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, it's curious with the space they're fighting for as well, because it's like G2 relinquished that control. Monacy took the fight. He's like, I don't want to re-peak this. I, I want to allow him to go and reposition somewhere else. We just are hoping that will happen. And it didn't, and the shots just get missed during that exchange. So a couple of odd ones going either way here. Got some Brazilian flags today. I think that guy was here the other day as well, actually. So obviously a Furia fan. Yeah, quite a few familiar faces that keep heading back. JKS gets electronic. Simple goes down to Monacy. And this one here from JKS is a stunner. I suppose with the weather right now in Malta, it's probably one of the better places to be. Yeah, there's the cinema. I think there's two cinemas on this tiny island. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you uh, And Counter-Strike. You would know all of this. And uh, when it starts to rain a lot, look, the place isn't built for rain. So definitely stay indoors, everybody. So don't go ride my bike. Got it. Well, you could. You'd be the only one out you know, on the road. I actually talked about this, and it makes a lot of sense because it's similar things to what we say in racetracks is oil seepage in asphalt. And uh, OJ was saying that this place it. is very known for it among cyclists because all summer it's so dry, and you get a lot of dust, and then the rain hits, and it pulls all the oil out of the road. So I would rather not because I'll probably die. So... JKS bouncing a nade at long. It's not going to connect with anyone. Monacy already looking down toward middle again. But this time, I think Simple's had enough of that fight. So there won't be any aggression or anyone to fire at in that position. Still reasonable cash left over for Navi here, even if they lose this round. So it won't be end of the world. And Nico's already burnt down or tagged down. 36 points of health. So he's very low. Still staying quite active here. Sprightly in his movements over towards short. This one looks like they want to try and punish SDY towards long. So how many can he get here? Three on the plate. Is he a hungry boy? Let's do I'm going to back all the way off to the pit. And this is that pausing you were talking about. 
Just silence for only a moment, though. Now the flashes go high. SDY not able to hit. They know he's locked in the pit. There's no one on long as well. Electronics occupied. So SDY is left to fight all on his lonesome down here. Those Molotovs are too staggered. Too far apart and as well in time, which means the duration means he can slide back up. But Hoaxie's ready for that. Nails the shot. Electronic takes out Nico. So at least they win one of the two approaches and prongs toward the A site. And they go back to B. There's 30 seconds. They almost have to commit to A right now. Hunter, the late prong to come up short here, but everybody's responding from Na'Vi now. This is going to be a bit on the side. Hooksy pulls out his knife at the worst possible time. Perfecto gets him, the bomb's loose, but now Hunter activates. Ball from Hunter, what a shot that was on the side. They have to deal with the final player. Electronic, he's going to go down to Monacy. We've got the one-on-one. -on -one. Good, we're going to get across, though. 17 HP. Simple knows he's low. Trying to close this down, Monacy. Oh, no time to plan. He wants to go for the shot instead. No time to plan. It doesn't matter. He's going to lose the gun and the money after the round as well. And Nico shoots him in the knee just for good measure. 13-11, Monacy. Yeah, all right. I'll get, like, laugh it off. That's fine. That's his style. The flash for a reason, but... I think the safe play in that one was trying to plant. Yeah, it looks simple there. You can see him spamming the body like, listen, mate, you can't be that cheeky with me. Honestly, that's how he took down Electronic during all that picture. And yeah, aware that there was no time. And you can see, yeah, listen, boy, you're in my server now. Getting fired up. Look at this. Electronic having a great time. So big he smiles is. on the faces for Na'Vi. They do have a two-round lead at this point in the game. A timeout called from G2. It's going to be their second so far. Someone's having dinner on the stream right now. So I hope yeah, they're enjoying I'm fine it. with that. I wouldn't mind a little dinner. Bring me some. Okay, well... Actually, I just had sushi. I'm full, so... <laughs> but you get the point. You can always eat. Yes. Yeah. That's fair. Right, well, with this timeout called, what is the changeup going to be here? Hooksy has a MAC-10 available on the ground, I do believe. So taking the sacrifice for the team, JKS drops the AWP over to Monacy. Gets to wield that one more time. People should be on the ground in spawn as well here to scoop up. So we get back underway. Two on the cross. I'm not sure how much Monacy saw there with the HE. Exploding over towards the doors, but out long they try to trundle. Electronic ahead of this, spams forward, gets one and done. Hunter on the tray, but not ready for SDY. Oh, wow. JKS, that's a solid response. I thought that was a double kill all day long. So simple like Carr wants to get baited in right now from bit. I take that back. He's just going to get aggressive. It's simple. He's aware and fully looking toward that position that he now covers all by himself. But a Molotov out, already ready for the smoke. Sees the shoulder, and JKS is dropped. I think he was expecting the aggression there. Simple always happy to take the fight. And Monacy 2 needs to hit this one. Revenge on Bit, finally. Simple's going to go at this, though. Smoke down. He knows he can swing on it. Minute 5. They don't have to commit to this direction. But the bomb at long suggests they certainly want to. Monacy's trying to play the gap as well. And Simple never walks into it. But he'll lock himself in Gandalf. Incendiary into the smoke, extinguishes, oh. and Nico sees him coming across. Beautiful headshot on the AK. Shylan's shot from Perfecto. It doesn't reveal exactly where he is, but it's enough information that Monacy is able to slide out and has his AWP ready for that smoke. Gap in it. Perfecto trying to play the gray screen to his advantage, but still firing. And now they know everything with the bomb being thrown across. Yeah, Monacy's going to be told to go get that. I should be my pick over this, Nico. It could be the double swing out, and they do. Oh, 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 oh. That was wobbly. That was wobbly for everyone. Nico yeah. gets into 22. He switches over because he thought he killed him. Monacy disappears, and everyone's left alive for a second of awkwardness. But yeah, absolutely. It's 13 to 12. G2 back within one. Okay. This is a close game. We're heading down the home stretch now. This is the type of counter strike we'd hope for. I hope to just break down a couple of the rounds. I love that round earlier with the late long play, where what they were doing was throwing the standard short util. They threw the bridge smoke as well as the one way. <laughs> That's Perfecto trying to track him. Yeah, a little bit frustrated there from Paul Perfecto, but a great find. And it has been a couple of really well thought out T-side rounds from G2 here, but the same for Na'Vi and their responses. Uh, another timeout now for Na'Vi. That's going to be their third in this game. They're actually going to buy the all-in maneuver coming through. SDY into a Famous, Perfecto and Bit are going to be working with something maybe very similar or even lighter on. Simple's AWP is available here. At the top of the server still for Simple, but is it going to be enough as we do head into round 26? It's a make or break round for both teams here, considering where the cash is at. Honestly, already aggressive through suicide, having seen that the smoke was down. He doesn't elect to sit around and wait for any action at middle. JKS already on catwalk. Simple. He's looking that way from Goose. 
much more direct. They might just execute. This would be a clear change of pace. They have short control so early in the round. If they could just execute now and go, I don't think Na'Vi would be ready for this. I know Simple's posted, but he's expecting the execute to come with still over a minute on the clock. Here it is. Let's see if it works for them. Simple. Already forced off of Goose. He's going to play the long position instead. Electronic will slide up to try and hold off with being on the boxes. He's above the flames. And the smokes down mean that they won't be able to see his head either. So he's got some safety in that position for a moment. And as they wrap around and stay close to that ledge, he may get an opportunity to try and get the shot. Simple misses again. Hasn't been hitting everything this half. Certainly oh, missing missed out. Well. Bomb has dropped down. You're absolutely right. The shot from Bit on a JKS and that bomb has fallen onto the ramp. It's a disaster. Bit knows it as well. He saw it. Hooksy, he's got problems. He's going to have to come up with a brilliant play to try and pull this one back. Perfecto's going to limit the doorway. Nico has no opportunity to try and swing through CT without a fight. So this means they have to collect kills. They have to be dead on to try and make this work. And Hunter's going to try and slide to find an angle. Nico does get Perfecto. Now maybe they can pinch. Now maybe there's a chance. Hunter's gone, a brave man that he is. And he's going to get taken down for it, but the bomb's already back up and being planted. So he sacrifices himself to give Nico on one HP a chance. And Monacy as well nearly get a line. Up, but he can't hit it and Nico's gone. It is bit to win out the round, but man, oh man, good effort G2 considering. What a calamity, the bomb dropping towards spawn. That is literally worst case scenario there. The, the entire round changes. They already did the hard work. Simple missed the shot. They pushed him off the side. They had the runway, the open runway, but bit makes this one possible with the kill onto JKS. This is the hunter kill, but this is the frag. JKS running to plant towards the default side and the bomb drops towards spawn. What a nightmare that is going to be. That is a tilter and a half. It was a recovery mission. It was a rescue mission. And Hunter, I, I, I admire the courage, drops down there, goes for that BDE and makes the play to throw it back up on top. So at least they got a plant out of it because now they can buy again on the G2 side. All sorts of awkward with the nades going on. And long simple goes for the short pick that Monacy couldn't achieve in the first half. And he nails it against none other than the man himself as JKS at least recovers to get SDY. But fast rotation, simple. Didn't quite hit Hooksy because Hooksy controls the world and probably curved that bullet away. Oh, well, they're going to relinquish control. They know that Simples respond to this quite quickly, but they want to try and go up short. The response time from both of these teams on their CT sides has been quick, smart every single round. And oh, we do still have one player lingering towards B. It is Perfecto. Spawn is covered off by Bit now, worrying about mid to B and also the quick response time towards that A site. Puts the pressure on Electronic. Simple to hunker down and lock this A bomb site to be theirs. And aid forward, great nade. So much damage onto Nico and JKS there, and they're gonna have to limp into it. There's no util. Nico with a blinded oh, wow. two big shots, and they're in. Massive grenade, but Nico absolutely just tore the site apart. And Bit is left wandering back away because they have to save. They have no money on this. Perfecto's gonna do the same. This so the round they should have potentially had in the last one before the bomb was lost is. Now I'm going to come back their way. We'll go 14-13. It's a close game. A very close game. Like, the way that these rounds are panning out, there's a lot of excitement in the mid-round. Like, the opening exchanges and territory go down, but both teams are responding. Can't wait to see those shots from Nico in the replay. They must have been massive. Still having a game of things here. 25 now. They are hunting. They're starting to have a look. Hooksy, how far do you really want to step? You don't have a whole lot of residual cash here yourself, mate. Maybe this is it. They've pushed into spawn at least. Nico... We we'll want to hold on to that AWP for Monacy here, so this should be it. Goes off round 13, secured in a one round game. 14 13 in Navi's favor on their map choice. Inferno up next to Mirage if we do need it. And here's the shots, Matt. Check these out. Bang, Man. the first is. Oh! He's just ah, spray transfer. One. Foolish. And he's spray transfer just hoping for the best. Simple stood up into it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is quite fortunate indeed, but look at the that's buy like, now. That's like when someone yells four in golf, and instead of putting your head down, you stand up and go, where? You get smoked right in the head. That is a wild find right there. Well, Na'Vi, gonna have to fight tooth and nail here. Nico has the AWP for the long fight, and I'm sure he'll now drop back and give that to Monacy. Nico with the flash at the ready for Hunter to peek through, potentially cut off the angles, the corners. The crossfires in middle, but the smoke in position, Hunter's not going to elect to go on that. It just makes them think twice about their stance at middle. They can think twice about catwalk, and by that I mean two mines better than one and two guns better than one. They've got a hold with SDY and Electronic in that position. And they're going to be throwing utility to thwart off any potential aggression that comes out from G2 at the minute and nine mark.
And also note that Na'Vi have thrown a mid-door smoke. They're trying to channel G2 elsewhere within this stage. They actually want them to come towards short stay. Quite clustered in this position. Flashing forward on the fade. They will take the space. Call it clear now. Those footsteps would have been heard. So all of this is going back the other way as well. Hooksy's called his troops out the long doors. They have the sniper advantage in this round. Wait for it. Three here. Nico's got the first. Couldn't spray transfer at that time, could he? Because Simple was there. Makes no mistake and calls up for it this time. Hunter's tagged. Bit from middle. But it's not enough to do anything about the round or the position. Yeah, it is. If Bit follows through, he pushes with that AK-47. And we're in a three on three. But the bomb on the side jumping. JKS is tagged by it. No one to give him the reverse elevator boost. Simple thinks he's gone to the other side of the box. That's not the case. That plant's really important. Look where Modesty is. He's out towards long with the AWP. It's behind the single box plant. If they get into the site and kill JKS and take Hooksy out as well, Modesty's out of the picture. JKS is going to go hunting, though. He's going to try and get aggressive. They fell down on the smoke, and Simple caught his teammate. This stayed silent. This means Hooksy's got to be perfect in this position, and he's not going to be able to do it, but JKS oh, no. nearly had the headshot. monesty has got to catch them, and they're not going to go for the elevator boost, are they? Oh, they are. They know. They know that he's got to be out toward long with that AWP, so he's got to catch them on the cross. Failing the jump. Who, okay, they're deciding who to put up there because of the kit situation. Bits on it with the kit. Monesty's running onto the M4. Knows he's got to be low. Knows he's oh, got to be low. No. He's missing. He picked up a gun that had no ammo. He picked up a gun that had no ammo, and it's 15-13 Navi. What a calamity of a round. The boost, and they had to reboost. And that was wild. Oh, my Lord. Navi. That's ridiculous. How do they salvage this? Hey, Hooksy, he fluffed his lines. JKS as well. Back of the head, he only gets one. He should have been good for two in that situation there. And Modesty, no. The Glock has and to the, come uh, out. Yeah, the, oh, that's so brutal. Oh, that's so brutal. Oh, oh like... That was the tough angle anyway, because he kept the head down. Doesn't even matter that he goes down afterwards. It's map point secured, Navi. Oh, Nico knows how close that was. Wow. That's oh. a heartbreaker. That is an absolute heartbreaker right there. That one is going to sting. That one is going to leave a mark. A bit of a parting gift for a bit right there. The amount of times he's killed Monacy in middle as well, those short fights that he was able to win now, just sitting the defuse right in think, front of his face. I think Monacy's better to keep the op in that situation. If he knows he's on the defuse, just get there and smoke him in the back with it. He picks up a gun with no ammo. Ooh. That's about as unlucky as it gets, and I, I get what he's doing. I probably would have picked up the M4 too, but man, oh man. Sometimes you gotta trust your gut with the weapon you're best at. Nico, already locked off by smokes. He's with Hooksy outside of the A doors. They're all here. They're all coming. That's two rounds. One that was the bomb was lost. And then this one with a gun that was picked up without ammo. There's yeah, some nightmare rounds. Some classic G2 rounds, aren't there? But everybody's here. Oh, they haven't cleared their corners. SDY's got one. Damage done. Perfecto's pit. Simple's here as well. Navi can win this right here, right now. Perfecto. Still with the FAMAS locked down. It's Simple that's going to come out to try and assist in all of this. And he will. He'll take down Nico. Gets tagged to 22 himself on that exchange, though. So has to be somewhat more careful about his positioning. But it's just Hunter and Hooksy to find, and Hooksy's the first to fall. Hunter will return the favor. He might get two here because SDY... Never mind. I was going to say SDY is low. He'll close out the game. 16-13. Navi will take it. And again, not without some awkward exchanges, but that is their map choice, so they'll be happy to get away with it. Yeah, the desk are definitely going to have a couple of rounds to discuss right there. You know, who had a few more boo-boos than the other? We saw Navi lose some rounds. They shouldn't in that first half. In the second half, some real calamities here for G2. They shouldn't be too flustered with this. They've got their map choice coming up next of Inferno, but first, a break and then the desk. Don't go anywhere.